but still you hmm? as in kuna watu wa mboga akawapo tu andaa kuza sukuma peleke watoto chakula watu wake alipia peke school fees and there you are na mchapa and you still hanya nyaz Hi guys. Thank you so much to to our Discord for your support. I've missed you a lot a lot a lot. And thank you so much for your support. I'm really grateful for each and everything that you've done. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for your comments. Though not you are doing the commenting. I don't know why you don't comment. Ataka ni hi. Hmm? or yes but anyways it is what it is so guys to leo i talked about something that i am i have, I have been thinking for some days now and i speak my heart out because i know there is freedom of expression not so many people li- like expressing their opinions and their thoughts because of fear of being judged and anything but mimi nani me i don't me would express too when i want to talk i talk cuz at the end of the day like why not why not so i love expressing myself and talking my opinion it may not be the best opinion but i believe it counts and i believe that it will touch somebody out there so uh the latest oh my god no. oh forgive me for that for that noise me i'm just out here and we are so we are next to a road so of course magari kipita pikipiki all of them does is here they will alarm you so guys um I would like to talk about racism, 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 eh uh, racism and violence and discrimination. So, I think I'll start with discrimination and racism cause like they are one and the same thing. I think they are one and the same thing. So guys, tomorrow what has happened to George Floyd? and honestly the guys kuna mjengo wenye ndele hapa next so mtukie masauti i apologize for that but we have to make this video acha niongee before i burst out then niongee tu so discrimination and racism is something that has really destroyed a lot of people's lives some people have died just because of that those two words hmm? some people have died others have lost their loved ones some people don't have food at home they have not, nothing to eat just because they are of, they have something different yeah they have something different some people lack peace just because they are different some people have been tortured just because they are different and for me i think that in this generation one thing that i love about this generation is that we have a lot of information we have gone to school our parents have really struggled to take us to school to learn new things new characters to learn new ways of living to learn how to do things and so many things we have so many so much information in our in our in our hands but i think that sometimes we really don't use what we learned Cause only I don't understand. In America, black people existed like since beco- before most of them were even born. Hmm? Black people are there since nineties, as G or even eighteens, or I don't know where. But I'm sure that most of the people in America have grown with black people. Either they they are they are your neighbors or. You went to school with them or you went to church with them or you did something with them you know so i really don't understand how 
sasa juu umekuwa mkubwa now that you've grown up somehow these black people are now a threat and yet these are people who you grew up together you hustled from moja eh both your parents and their parents struggled to take you to school eh both of them went to church and you guys prayed to the same god eh oh my leyo ndege si tukoje ipita ama ayo kuna nisikia So guys, as I was saying, eh? as I was saying, guys, so these people, you went to church with them, you did so many things with them, you played the same games from Oja, eh? you and you buy you buy the same clothes. Certainly, there there are clothes designated for black and there are clothes designated for white, eh? you practically build your country with them so i don't understand why now because you guys have grown up eh and now because you see things differently now they the also black people white people are now different like the only thing different is the skin color you guys have two kidneys eh kidney you guys have two eyes one mouth two ears eh you guys practically eh as in like when you, the more you grow you give birth eh just you white people don't give birth and you you give birth you all give birth you all marry you all have children and yeah there is nothing different apart from the skin color hmm? i could not anything different eh and it can you basically can you even imagine if you could wake up and everybody you meet is the same skin color as you or the same or looks like you or behaves like you eh how boring will it be eh it, it won't be even it won't be enjoyable to go out there cause like everybody's like you so why go out there eh? it's so enjoyable to go out there to meet people with different skin colors to meet people who walk differently talk differently people who have different characters people who are some are tall some are short some are slender some are fat some are i don't know what shape eh and then it, it it feels nice and you feel how wonderful and how gorgeous this creation is and how as in like how god thought about each and everything because as me for me i wouldn't like to go out there and meet and see everybody's like me i want to be me and i want to be myself I don't want everybody to copy me and do what I do because at the end of the day now that will be a conflict of interest it's good that you are different so that you can inspire different aspects in life to build one thing and that is to build the nation the world into something precious it's good that they are architects it's good that there are people who cook people chefs people who doctors teachers could you imagine if you wake up and everybody was a teacher or you wake up and everybody was a doctor then who will build the houses it's good that people are different that that difference it, it that difference is what makes us more united because that difference comes comes with them doing doing different things and influencing us differently so that we can be greater not so that we can be weak or we can be diminished or anything uh, we are not competing uh, you know in a competition or who is more greater than who because at the end of the day we are all same no matter how much you want to look at it like there is no you can judge a person because of their skin color eh maybe even that black person uh, used to defeat you in school maybe they are even brighter, brighter than you so how can you say that you are more important than them Eh, maybe they even sing b- best than you. So how can you say that you're b- better than them? Like we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. And being black doesn't mean that you're weak. Or being white doesn't mean that you're strong or weak. We are all equal and it all boils down to what can you offer the world? Hmm? What can you do? 
what can you do to influence something better what can you do to change this world and do good things because i think there, there, there is so much negativity and you don't have to be the one to add on to that negativity because it's negative why don't you be the change that you want to see eh? as in like it's it, 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 it's so offensive that you can just kill a person just because they are black hmm? you guys have white blackboards you've, you've seen color black you paint your houses black why are you acting as if being seeing a black person is something over the blues eh? and yet you are raised with them it's not like it's your first time seeing a black person hmm? why are you acting as if you've never seen any black person Okay. So I would like to urge everybody out there, stop being racial. Just love everybody, irrespective of how they look, how they talk, or whatever they do. Just, you don't even have to love them, just respect. Uh, respect is key. Respect them for who they are. Mind your own business, you don't have to meddle in their business. Uh, besides, at the end of the day, you didn't, you're not the one who created them. And you cannot destroy what what you can't make or what you can't create. Never destroy anything that you can't create. Anyway, I'm sorry. I know now again. Now again, I know I'm talking with a lot of heart or something, but I I think that it's offensive for me. It's offensive, and then the next thing is discrimination. So this even does not apply to. Americans or anything, it applies to everyone. Everyone, so you say, I'm sure every somebody, everyone, not in somebody, everyone has been discriminated for something. You've discriminated, you've been discriminated either because you're either because you're you, you have you're in this religion or you are you're not bright enough or you are or you are dark enough or you're not i don't know what somebody i know everybody has been discriminated for something because you can't tell me that you're that good uh, also i know you've been discriminated either because you are not of this tribe and you're of this tribe you have been because you do something this way and not the other way like it doesn't really make any sense eh? at the end of the day as long as i i do not do something harmful to anyone i don't understand why they should there should be so much judgment in this world at the end of the day it's not that where well, at you're perfect you're so perfect eh? so i don't understand how you can be able to discriminate somebody hmm? why should you discriminate somebody yet if you're in if you are in hey oh my god look at this bee Ooh. Amen. So, I don't understand why you can you can afford to discriminate somebody just because of like honestly, me as made me don't know what. Cause in this generation, this generation has been like me nishanga how some people are cause like another gender shule for all those years, and yet when you go out there at the I won't give you a job because uh, you are of this tribe and I'm of this tribe. What? Like, who does that? Hmm? Like, you are in school, you grew up with Trukanas, you grew up with Masais, you grew up with Luas, you grew up with... In the same school, you guys were friends in school. Eh? It's not that you went to the, uh, as in a school with, who, which doesn't have another tribe in it. So how comes now because uh, you are the senior most person, hmm? yeah, everything changes. Eh? You guys, we grew up together. We we hustled from Moja. Both our parents hustled to pay for us school fees. They hustled to give us food and they hustled to take us uh, to take us to school we grew up together we went to the same school we, we sat on the same desks to look like there is surely four years manze four years we went to look like there is a mini challenge mini kikuyu 
eh na wona kula siji githeri we, we ate the same githeri hmm? we ate the same githeri we slept in the same dorms we used the same water hmm sati majangu liko na inachemshwa na yako ichemshwi eh we we read the same textbooks hmm so i don't understand why actually saizi when tunaelekea political time now sasa jikunoma na kikuyu kuna kale kuna kutukana kuna masai hakuna kitu kama hiyo hmm mimi mwenyewe oh my goodness ndio ndege So guys, mi mwenyewe sijawahi ona uhuru na ma, na macho yangu. Mimi na mwanangu kwa TV kama venyenyi mna muonanga. Mm? Mimi na wewe na hasolingi hapa. We go to school from Mwanza to uni. Mimi na wewe na hasolingi kwa super tupanga line. Eh, we buy our things, we come home and we eat. Nikikosa chumvi ama kwetu tukikosa Wetu tukikosa kitu tunakuja kwenyu, si ndio? Eh, we do things from moja. Mi selewi how when it comes to political time, now there there is this strife and this strife. Like the most educated generation we can afford to be separated just because of tribe. Hmm? Tribe after all we've been through from moja, after all the hassles that our parents have been through from moja. Yes, we can afford. Hmm? As we can afford to be discriminated just because of that. To discriminate each other because of that. I make any sense. You guys, we need to put some common sense in our heads. Otherwise, we are going destroy that and Mimi na wewe and nobody else. It is me and you are going to destroy each other's life. And I don't think it will, that life that time will ever be recovered. So let us stand up and let us not be petty and let us style up in our thinking, style up in our way of doing things. Don't be influenced just because we have kitu kadogo kinyi kataisha with time. Hmm? Don't be influenced just be, as in like just because you are desperate. Always do the right thing. It will never hurt. Heri ujinyime upatie mwenyataka mo kukuliko. And what will, what will happen? God will bless you and even more will come to you because they usually come by the way but if you if you just sit there and say oh now because you're a kikuyu eh jamani just because you're a kale nah i make any sense at all at all at all let us not discriminate each other because of tribe because each generation our parents our parents i can't say the same for them cause like they ha- they have their own way of thinking but for this generation i trust in this generation and i believe that we are more better and more more equipped than our parents so how about if we if we just do things right for once how about if we just do things differently for once and see the outcome besides it won't hurt it won't hurt to to just be friendly to an, uh, the other person it won't hurt to be kind it won't hurt to respect other people's opinion it won't hurt to mind your own business it won't hurt to try to style up it won't try to upgrade your thinking it won't hurt to just be different be different from the rest eh so must we do things what our parents how our parents did it we can do things how we th- we think is right how we want it to be because if you want fight there will, if you want war there will be war if you want peace there will be peace it all boils down to you being the change and me being the change and you being the change we change eh? we have different mindsets we draw differently you know as in like let us just style up in our thinking for sure because at the end of the day 
honestly e i'm shocked i'm shocked how i got election everything changes everything changes hmm? everything changes you have to change your friends because you don't even trust them maybe they'll come and you know just kill you because you even have to put your opinions to yourself so that you can be at peace and yet kuna freedom of expression freedom of expression wasn't taught so that you can just it can just be taught it was taught so that you can use it it's meant to be used and practiced eh? everybody has a freedom of expression and the, mo- the 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 best you can do is just respecting the opinion and just don't let it get to you but we have to speak about what what is wrong and what is right cuz at the end of the day i don't think killing a person just because they are black is the right thing i don't think just because uh, it's political time now you don't have to be friends eh, because uh, you support this person and support this person hmm? see a war at the end of the day whether they, they are president of, or not president we hustle we will still hustle before and after you will need me i will need you hmm? so why don't we come together uh, as one and let the politicians do their thing let the other let people do their thing and me and you because we need each other let us just respect each other let us treat each other with kindness and respect other people's opinion and let people express themselves higher the next one is violence so mimi sijui how you are saying at the, uh, let us go and demonstrate since when is ni mass demonstration it end up with violence miss elewi how demonstrating and violence meet each other demonstration and violence they are two different words so how do they even come together hmm ebu ni ambieni eh ebu ni ambieni unaweza je kuwa tu at like wewe tu all these years eh ume mimi mama mama yako ame struggle na wewe amefura mtoto wangu kwa na tabia nzuri mtoto wangu eh fanya hivi vizuri and then hmm? and then something bad happens and you guys are forced to demonstrate in the process of demonstration sasa ni waulize mnaulize sio makicha wenyewe wengine nini eh mnaulize sio makicha wengine nini eh duka za wengine mnaziulizia nini how come sisi duka zichomeka when is it them who did you wrong is it them hmm? how come wakati wa demonstration sasa hizo ndo kuna how come wakati wa demonstration sasa ndo kuna vitu weird zina happen mimi sielewi eh how come sasa hizo ndo eh madema na repiwa how come sasa hizo ndo watu wanakuwa injured kwani ni hao watu ndio wakosea mimi na jay wakati unyie ame uhuru kiakosea mimi sina ngeta mkenda kumchapa mbona kwani how kuchapa ni ba wenyu as in like ina si levi i don't understand it i think that you guys as in like hmm, there is something wrong you guys need to take out your anger on the right people it's good it's 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 okay to be angry but it's another thing to take out your anger on the wrong person hmm? Somebody has worked hard and rebuilt to market yake so that he can go and give food to his children or her children and there you are going to that supermarket and stealing and not even paying okay stealing is not paying and stealing and running away with it mnaenda kwa siji petrol station mnachoma me am like me ushanga me ushanga for sure me mshanga i've seen so many peaceful demonstrations but i have also seen a lot a lot a lot of violent demonstrations and me see the only how it how the poor and those people who don't who are innocent end up suffering in a demonstration see le wangwe as in like hmm? i know that we we don't have a lot but like nelewa maybe hauna 
food or something you love something and you will want to have it basic needs but still in as in like nakata mimi mboga akago tu andaa kuza sukuma peleke watoto wao chakula watoto wake alipia toke school fees and there you are una mchapa and you still hanyanyas like honestly the most educated generation una naibisha una naibisha for sure mimi i don't understand how mama mboga na demonstration yenu omeingililia sielewi how how just leave innocent people to do their things and take out your anger on the right person put your facts right and everything will be okay with you hmm? put your facts right express yourself accordingly and everything will be okay hmm? everything will try eh? everything will try to put itself in its right place if you put your facts right and you take out your anger on the right person cause mimi si leangi how demonstration and violence in Nigeria nanga hmm? it's one thing for police kuja kuanza kuachapa and anything and another thing for mama mboga who was innocently selling kanyanyas to take food to our poor children and then that were affected and mostly who were affected at the police it is the people who are demonstrating Eh, nyinyi ndo mnaona kwa ribu businesses za wenyewe. Eh? Na wange to they are usually young people. So me I'm talking to my young my young friends, young people who are like me. Hm? Ebu we put our facts right. Missy, miss, mimi sisi nataka kulea mtoto for sg how many years and then anaenda for demonstrate, anaanza ku haribu businesses za yake na kuiba sijui nini kwa supermarket na TV and I don't know what as in like it doesn't make any sense that is so bad that is taking advantage it's bad because people are taking advantage of young people and then young people are taking advantage of other people two wrongs they make a right so put your facts straight as young people we are the most educated generation let us show what what we learned let us practice everything that you were taught in school everything that you are taught with your parents everything that life has taught you let us practice it let us not waste each other's time let us not waste each other's life or economy or whatever that you are wasting it's not right and it won't end right sawa so, let us just you know as in like let us just be uh mimi nasi ni sana nini because for me na ni human mimi si lewangi honestly Demonstration is good because if they are doing the wrong thing, they're supposed to be told. But an violence, I, violence is not something that is very healthy to anyone, eh? To anyone. Kwanza wale mimi mimi umwa ni kiona kama mama mboga hana pesa ya kulipa tuake school fees na alikuwa me promise teacher ati teacher kesho kesho ukisi food and tango kesho na kuletea pesa za school fees usimfuze and then when nani unaona na ribu business business yake at in the in the name of demonstration hmm you need you, you need one type of violence jana hizo zingine acha sisi ni calm down cuz that is the more naongea the more ina the more na scared to as like ina niuma you know so thank you so much for watching i'm pinambo thank you for your support and for your kindness and kindly subscribe my channel to see more of my videos and to be updated more on me my channel and everything and as in everything anyway guys thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you thank you for your support see you next time bye stay safe sanitize and be the change you want to see in the world bye